again, in this example, we see a square term in front, and we see a square term in the back. So I'm automatically going to think special factoring technique. Now, it can't be a difference of two squares, because that's when there's only two terms and they're separated by subtraction, right? So I want to look for the perfect square trinomial. Well, the best thing to do here is just to kind of break it up like we do before. If I'm going to assume this is going to be a factor term by, its, by itself, then this would have to be 4x and 4x, right? And then this would have to be 3 and 3. However, if my inner and my outer are going to add to give me negative, then my two factors would have to be a negative, correct? All right. So do you guys agree 4x times 4x is 4x squared? Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, right? But let's just make sure this is a perfect square trinomial. Do the inner terms add to give you negative 24? Do the inner terms add to give you negative 24? Yes. So therefore, I can write this as 4x minus 3 squared. And that would be your factored form. Okay.